You may call me, me naive, say, well, you really don't get it, you don't understand. But for me, a glimpse of the reign of God is one where we can appreciate all baptisms, the pours, the dunkers, and the sprinklers, all communions and Eucharist and extended families adopted straight and gay, holy writ, whether it's, whether it's Quran or it's the scripture as we understand it, whether it's the one that we've canonized or the one that's apocryphal or the one that's pseudepigraphal, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. There's enough truth in all of them to help us stop killing each other. All prayers, spontaneous and liturgical, all people seeing each other knit together like a quilt into one family of God. All of us on a journey together listening to the still speaking God. To me, that's religious evolution. And I'm an evolutionary where we don't have to be the same thing to mind the same things. Where any war in the family is a civil war and where all the children are safe. Can I leave this with you? There is a notion of paradise that says that the lion lays down with the lamb. For the lion and lamb, but by the way, this is not natural. It ain't natural. <laughs> For a lion and lamb, because one of them eats the other. <laughs> Anybody hear me? For the lion to lay down with the lamb means that the lion has to divest him or herself of its predatory nature. And the lamb must divest itself of its tendency to be a victim. That's when paradise happens. And I'm saying to you, my beloved, we are looking for a day when all the children are safe because all the children are our children, where we seek to find connections, not disconnections, where we blur our boundaries enough to recompose our decomposing churches and fellowships. Perhaps this is the vision of Martin Luther King's beloved community. And I see a group of brothers, Joseph's brothers, who were mad because he was a dreamer. But let me be a dreamer just for a minute and say to you that there's coming a day when all of God's children, <sighs> black and white, rich and poor, straight and gay, in this country, a part of this empire and not. Those who vote one way and those who vote another. Those who believe in our understandings of God and those who believe in there's coming a day when all of us are going to understand and embrace the common love of God. Someone said that Jesus is coming and when he comes, boy is he pissed. And he is going to straighten this whole thing out. But you know, I'm coming to believe that the only way this kingdom will come is that you and I must bring it in the ways in which we love one another. I pray, and I pray with all my heart, that we will choose the both and God and demonstrate that reality in the earth until justice runs down like water and righteousness like a mighty stream. God bless you. It's not good.